Kohoku. <laughs> so we were a little rushed this morning. I just went out for a free session just to uh, check the nerves off and everything. But um, did like one lap and then the car turned off, wouldn't start again. Uh, I couldn't hear the fuel pump, so we had to get pushed back in and just confirm we don't have enough fuel pressure to run the car. So I need to get back and look at the wiring and hopefully it's just a simple fix. If not, we'll have to be chasing up a fuel pump. <laughs> All right, we found the problem. It's the uh, fuel pump relay. So I've just bypassed it and the fuel pump works, car runs fine, so. Um, problem with that is fuel system was already sort of maxed out before. I'm a bit worried fuel, fuel pressure won't be high enough, but uh, the Haltech ECU does have a fuel pressure safety built into it and it's set up, enabled everything. So I'm uh, really relying on Haltech and Omar right now because I'm going to go out and try to have the car because um, we don't have the time to go run into town, buy another relay and potentially miss all of today's practice for uh, tomorrow's D1 Divisional. So I'm going to head out now and see if he yells at me or not. session and got one lap in I was actually pretty happy with and then the car started to like cut out a little bit and then it completely turned off and it came back so I think my little temporary wiring situation going on here is it's probably the cause because nothing's been bolted down there's expo exposed terminals everywhere so I'm just gonna run with the fact that I never did this before just did this now it's doing that so I'm gonna just tidy this up bolt that down tape everything up and just go try again.
Even this part's pretty warm, yeah. I heard that. That's fuel pressure. Oh my god! Just ran it a couple of times because we had the lines off. Yeah. Yeah, fans. Nice. Here we go. You just saw some clips from a little mini drift comp they did. This is a single run competition. Uh, there was a pretty big accident in my group, so I only got like two or three runs. Not even really sure what happened, but um, came in after that, and I saw my fuel level was like maxed out. My fuel light was on, so I wanted to just pop the hanger out of the tank and see what was going on in there. Uh, looks like the in tank collector that I have is just it doesn't sit firmly in there, like sort of moves around. So I think it's just annoyed the level sensor and whatever so not important uh, put it back together and then the car wouldn't start <laughs> so of course we're looking here because that's where I just was and I had a, another FD guy here he's, uh, he's jumping in the back of the car helping me trying to figure it out and then we come to the realization that everything's good start chasing it to the front of the car which or front left which is the loaded upside at this track on the entry uh, I've rubbed through my body harness Caltech engine loom so yeah, um, I've just, you know, <laughs> in a rage I guess, I've pulled apart the interior trying to find power, chase this, chase that, and it ended up just being a switch uh, 12 volt that I have up in the engine bay. So we just cut that plug off, uh, put a connector on it, and the car starts again. So <laughs> that made it sound probably way easier than it was, that was like a, 
I don't know what time is it. It's probably like a, a two hour delay. <laughs> uh, missed the last session because of it. But, you know, we can go into tomorrow fresh. My last few laps, I was happy with the, not fully happy, but very happy with my progress with the driving. Um, definitely things to work on the first session tomorrow. And yeah, we know the car's good now, so we can go home, rest, come back fresh. Wheel was rubbing up on here, and it's like just pushing the harness into the body, and then, yeah, obviously not good. So because of that, like shorting out and whatever was going on in there, um, this plug has completely fused together, and like, <laughs> You can see how hot it all got. So I only actually use one wire out of this. This is the OEM uh, ignition, what do you call that? Plug, <laughs> I don't remember what it's called. But yeah, we just use, all I do is I used to use this for switch to a lot. So all I had to do was just cut all them off, remember which one was the one I need. And then yeah, connect it back to the rest of the harness in the car fired straight up but uh yeah to find this was <laughs> not easy <laughs> Thank you. 